Yes, sir. Good <laughs> having you here, man. It was great being here. What an honor. Well, it's no one. No, are you kidding me? No, it's an honor <laughs> to have you in here, not the other way. You and I are actually on opposite ends of the scale here. Yeah, one you, has you, talent, one yeah, doesn't. That's true. <laughs> 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 One's you, fed. you ride the bulls, and my uncle is the one that breeds them. Oh, I got so you. So usually when I would in go Oklahoma, to... We usually we used to breed the cows, but... Yeah, no, he was the one that would provide the stock that you rode. Oh, I got you. So got every you. time that we would go and watch bull riding, uh, I would be rooting for the bull. Yeah, I, know? I, I, I know fans like that. Me and a couple of the other bull riders were joking about it. Uh... A couple weeks ago, if those bulls ever learn how to sign autographs, they're going to put us out of business. <laughs> do but, they? This may be a dumb question, but I just thought about this. Do the different events? Do you see the same bulls over and over again, or do you? Or are there always new ones? Oh yeah, you you get to know them. It's just like playing, uh, you know, you different different teams, and uh, you know okay. you have scouting reports on them. You can go on on ProBullStats dot com and find out anything you want to know about your bull. Every time he's been out. Uh, you know who got on him, what hand they ride with, how long they rode him, and if they did, how many points. So you, you're no you're kidding. scouting all of them. What are the names of the toughest ones that you have to encounter? Yeah, who do you not? I'm sure you them. know some names. Well, I, the the reigning world champion bull is Bushwhacker, and uh, that bull he's he he's so talented. I think he weighed in uh, a couple weeks ago in Houston. He weighs 1,760 oh. pounds. Oh my gosh! And he is smart and fast and strong. All the above. Have you? How many times have you ridden him? I just got on him once. I got him at the PBR World Finals in in Las Vegas the year he won uh, Buck and Bull of the Year, and I'm telling you, he about threw me out of the Thomas and Mack in Vegas. <laughs> wow. They all have different personalities and different traits and things, correct? Th- they do. They're, you know, they're just like people. I think uh, you know people don't give them enough credit, and uh, you know, I, I, I try to explain it. Any any animal that. Uh, you know, can take the end of their tail and hit a fly in the middle of their back. I mean, they know where the rider oh, is at all times. <laughs> yeah, there you go. So, it's not, I, mean, I do that at parties sometimes. <laughs> it's a little bar game I got going. How many broken bones and scars do you have? And do we have time to cover uh, them? I, I don't know that I could remember all of them, but I've, I've, broke, uh, I've broke most of the bones for sure. I, actually, my worst injury... Uh, came in 2004. I crushed my skull. And, you know, the, the other injuries, you know, if you break your leg or your arm or something like that, you know, doctors can cast that up or mm-hmm. put some metal in it and fix it up. you got to mess with your head, man. They just kind of, you know, shape it back and hope for the best. Now, with that said, do you have a son? No, 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 no. If son. you were to have a boy, would you want him to follow in his daddy's footsteps? Well, I'm, I'm sure my dad was probably thinking the same thing. I don't know if my boy should do this, but I don't know. It's, uh... It kind of it it, it happens, blood. I guess. Yeah. Well, I yeah. say this, Cord. From getting on that bull, you saw my video. I've never been more petrified in my life, and I don't think people realize it. I think a lot of the spectators go, "Yeah, I could probably do that for a couple of seconds." Until you get on that bull, <laughs> and you feel the solid muscle and the power of that thing when your legs are on it. I've never had a fear in my entire life as strong as that, and it it, I, it was one of the craziest scariest moments of my life well i mean you, you're taking a, a an 1800 pound animal flexing underneath you and i, I mean i understand but uh careful the, you're the, making uh, rachel excited <laughs> here. i know hey i'll tell you what you made it as far as ocho cinco did i mean he, <laughs> he was gonna be a, and he had you know three days of training Which and he made it 1.7 seconds just right right at you so you know like i'm, I'm not giving myself credit but you know, I got the hotel was like, you know, how long have you been riding? How long does it take to get good? And I said, well, I've been riding for 25 years, and I still need to practice. So it's it's a it's a it's a long it's a career for sure. Now, does your uh, wife ever get into any of this? Yeah, yeah, she she does. Actually, I met my wife at a bull riding. Uh, it was kind of funny because she she popped off one week. We we're bucking bulls at the house. She's like, well, I could ride that one. And I said, "Well, I just fix you up." So uh, <laughs> I run the bull funny. in the shoot, and she she didn't back out. Now there for a while, she had uh, lots of questions going into it, but she got on. So didn't didn't last the eight seconds. But uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, yeah. we are talking still about riding the bull, right? Stop it. Well, about it. So, <laughs> yeah. I just you know, since you're married to her, I wasn't uh, wasn't exactly sure about that. Now yeah. uh, somebody told me you also competed in the Amazing Race. Yeah, uh, I re- went around the world twice on yeah. the Amazing Race. Once going east and once going west. And and, and I you don't have a television or radio in your house, or you didn't? I know, right? I have a radio now. Yeah, That's I, all I you still need. don't have TV. Yeah. That's all you need. You don't yeah. need anything about the radio. Radios, radios. Yeah. Blah, blah. What did you find the hardest thing about that? Ah, uh, well. Uh, the the second time was just being gone because I got married uh, two days before um, I pretty much went around the world with my brother. So I, went, I felt like I went on my that your honeymoon, honeymoon with your brother, brother Jed. <laughs> that wasn't uh, you know that wasn't that wasn't the best idea. But no, I think every country that you go to is is such a 
a great experience. Um, you know, you, you feel like you learn something from everywhere you go. Yeah. What's the worst smell that you encountered? Uh, and being, can I know, say the country of India? That was pretty crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I've heard that from several people. It yeah. just doesn't smell very yeah. good. Yeah. And, and I've been on some hog farms and feedlots, too. So <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I got bad some stuff smells, to compare it to. Huh? Yeah. But it, 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 was, it was just, uh, it was crazy. So many people in one spot. You know, you can, you can watch. Uh, you know, TV and, and try to get a feel of other countries. But until you go to some of those places, man, I'm telling you, we've got it blessed right here. Yeah, you're right. When when you are going to be at Ford Field this weekend at the, the PBR, there's a lot of money up for grabs now with this. I mean, it's not just a couple of dollars. Well, they, they've, they've upped the payout to $150 or $150,000 uh, to the winner this weekend. But it, it is called uh, Last Cowboy Standing. You go to PBR.com. And, and check it out for the last Cowboy Standing. But it's the 35 top bull riders in the world. And I mean uh, the top 35 from around the world. All of the United States, uh-huh. Canada, Mexico, Australia, Brazil. I don't uh, want to be cocky, but after my video, am oh, I God. in that time? Is there room in there for him? 36, yeah. man. 36. 36. Just yeah. missed it. Just <laughs> missed make the cut. cut next year. Story of my life. Well, we're, <laughs> when you're walking around the house, if you're at the house, because I'm thinking of all the things that you do in the time you've been thrown off and the injuries and all that other, if you hurt yourself at your house doing some ordinary project, do you sit there and think to yourself, hey, I can't complain about this. Nothing, does nothing hurt you? Well, because <laughs> I mean, you hit yourself every, and go, everything oh, still oh, hurts. your wife is like, oh, come on. No, I, my wife actually feels sympathy now. As after, after she got on, she was pretty much worthless for three days after she uh, landed on her head. So now she feels like anytime I, I hit on the ground wrong or something, she's like, man, I feel your pain. I understand now. But uh, I don't know. If, if I get hurt at the house, I pretty much get a limp to the next bull ride and, and, and get on. So <laughs> yeah, I well, it's some your insurance. paycheck, right? Yeah, it is. Thanks for being in here, and thanks for coming to town. I know there's a ton of bull riding fans around here that uh, that are going to be out there. Ford Fields uh, is a wonderful place, too, and we hope you win a whole lot of money. It's going to be huge. Uh, big and, and Rich remember coming to, to, town to and share some of that money with us is where I was going. Yeah, well, yeah. I'll maybe be sure you could buy right this weekend, here. buy a few rounds if you win some loot. You know what we ought to do? Tim, we ought to see Tim. how long you can stay on Jason. <laughs> I bet you could stand a long time. I, I, don't know if, I don't know if you'd want to stand him a long time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Quickest time wins. <laughs>